But the other time that I noticed it was when um, I was trying to get pregnant and have a baby. And, you know, you, you have sex and then you lay there with your hips up. Like somehow there's science to that, right? Yeah. And the idea is like keep it all in. And then as the day goes on, it starts to leak out. And no matter how like clean and sanitized you are, this is the foundation that Lumi was really built on, was that when semen comes into contact with um, bacteria in our GI tract, it's the bacteria digest that fluid. And it has certain amino acids and proteins in it that are found in blood and other bodily fluids, fatty sweat, and those odors are formed. And so it was, that's what I felt like what I was seeking a solution for, even for myself. Yeah. And what I identified is that that odor that forms with semen and bacteria in our GI tract is identical to the odor gas that forms when women have BV. So if you have, you know, increased the amount of intercourse, like you either have a new partner or you're trying to get pregnant or, you know, your kids are at summer <laughs> camp. I don't know what the reason might be, but you get notice like a shift in odor, you may or may not necessarily recognize that it's associated with increased intercourse frequency. And you might just mention it to your doctor. And if you mentioned it to your doctor, you're yeah. probably more likely to end up with a prescription. It's like if you give a mouse a muffin. <laughs> If you have more frequent intercourse, then you are more likely to have odor. Then you might go see your doctor and you are way more likely to leave with a prescription and a diagnosis you don't have and a prescription you don't need.